And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell. Okay, welcome back. It's been a rather busy evening here in East Texas. We're still tracking a few stronger thunderstorms as well. The only warning that we have in effect at this current moment is going to be down into San Augustine, Sabine, and portions of Shelby County. It technically still has a small section of Nacogdoches County, but it does look like that threat is continuing to wind down. Let me come a bit closer here. This is the storm that we need to continue to watch here for the next uh, probably next 30, 45 minutes or so until it gets out of the East Texas area. We are noticing that we have the storm perhaps strengthening a bit more. I want to show you a couple of things that we look at on the inside of the thunderstorm that is interesting. First of all, how strong the wind is. So we have wind shear that's close to about 70 miles an hour, and we also have the potential of some hail perhaps up to an inch and a quarter in diameter that would place it at the ping pong ball size criteria. Now this warning is in effect until 1030 core of it right now moving through portions of San Augustine County at this time. We'll check out what we're finding in terms of the rotation detector. Rotation does not look very impressive at this current moment, and let's hope that it continues to remain that way. But what we are definitely seeing, though, undoubtedly is the threat for hail. Notice the hail path here in the last hour, and you can notice how the storm stretches all the way back, and if we continue drawing it, it would go all the way back over into the Houston Trinity County line where the storm got started. So hail is going to be the biggest concern in this particular thunderstorm. As I mentioned that warning until 1030. Now still very intense line of thunderstorms that are passing through in other locations that we don't want to forget about as they get closer to the Louisiana border. They do extend up into Marion County Got an inverted C shape here showing the how strong the winds are as this line of thunderstorms is pushing over to the east. Marshall, your threat is done, although rain is going to continue. Same can be said back toward Longview, Gilmer or City there along Highway 259 and 271. Still some heavy rain rain in the Carthage area also it's going to move to the east and back toward Nacogdoches uh, and Appleby, Mount Enterprise, still some pockets of heavier rainfall too. Let's look at inside the storm here in terms of the wind detector, not finding any winds that are showing any sort of rotation here, uh, and we likely will not see that occur anymore, especially now since this is more so of a line. Another round of heavy rain in Lufkin, our weather watcher in West Lufkin, picking up two inches of rainfall for tonight, and the heaviest rain extends back down into portions of uh, East Trinity County coming back into Angelina County. But hail has been the story for us today. We've had several reports of those hailstones that have come through. I just want you to see just some of the reports that we've had come in for tonight, but then I'm going to send it over to meteorologist Andrew Salmon. Look at the plots here that will come up on the map. Had some even up into portions of Smith County, the bulk of them in our area in deep East Texas. Let me send it over to Andrew to explain more about some of these hail sizes that we to see in these severe storms. All right, Marcus, as we continue to track that uh, supercell down in southeastern portions of the area, still has that potential for some uh, large hail. Again, we've seen uh, hail upwards of ping pong ball to golf ball sized hail uh, so far with these storms. Again, to make severe limits, it has to be at least an inch in diameter, which is about the size uh, of a quarter. And we've had these strong updrafts in the thunderstorms, and that has allowed the hail to kind of stick around in the clouds for a longer period of time. And once it finally got heavy enough, it started falling to the ground and uh, as large hail for many of us across the area. Luckily, we did not see any baseball or softball size hail, at least no reports of that at this time. The upper level support that we have been tracking is continuing to move across uh, our area, although we're starting to get on the more calmer side of this uh, upper level disturbance uh, pretty soon. But until these southwest winds aloft go away, uh, these storms will still maintain their strength. Uh, maybe they don't get severe again, the line of thunderstorms, but certainly they will be loud and with some gusty wind. And then, of course, we are continuing to track that one cell uh, down into uh, southeastern portions of the area. Let's go back over to Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, who has a look at what we can expect for the next couple of hours. Marcus. Uh, yeah, Andrew, this line is going to continue to push to the east as we go through the overnight. We're going to see the line begin to exit east Texas. Still a couple of lingering showers. That's why the watch is out until 2 a.m. It'll probably be canceled just before then for many areas. But once this finally pulls away, the 
severe threat is over. Definitely some clouds lingering for tomorrow and some wraparound moisture may bring in a couple of showers, but not expecting anything like what we had this afternoon here in East Texas on the seven day forecast. A little bit calmer tomorrow, but still cloudy temperatures rising back up to near 80 on Thursday, then we cool down with our next rain chance early Friday morning, but then the temperatures begin to warm up again, getting closer to the weekend. Sports right now.